Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Surgery and here we are in the Olympiad workout series, a long pending one because I was busy with the JE advanced examination so I have not been able to produce too many videos on the Olympiad workout so but now that the Olympiad uh, dates have been announced in India, uh, target IOQ 2020, we would be trying to bring as many problems as possible to ensure the students get enough practice for stage one and stage two, which is combined actually. Uh, on the same day, you'll be having the two parts of the exam. So I'll be in every video letting you know uh, the problem is of which level. So this would cater to the level one needs. Okay, so uh, this problem as you could see, the heading is a vacuum cannon challenge and it's been picked up from a old Estonian Olympiad problem. So this was a very decent one. So this gives you a flavor of how the language in the Olympiad can affect the performance of a student, right? So let's try to go through it. In case you want to give it a fair try with an unbiased mind, try to pause the video here, read the text on your own, look at the diagram at the bottom, try solving it for five to 10 minutes and then come back for the explanation of the solution. So here we go with the formal wording. Pictured below is so-called vacuum cannon. To load it, a ball meant for ammunition is put into the left end of the vacuum cannon. Next, both ends of the tube are covered with an easily rupturing airproof membrane, for example, a foil, and then the air is pumped out of the tube. The vacuum cannon is now ready for firing. For firing, the membrane of the left is on the left is intentionally ruptured. As a result, the ball starts to charge towards the right end of the tube. If the tube is long enough, the ruptured membrane on the right end is uh, the ball ruptures the right end, end of the membrane and is fired out of the tube. Let us say that the diameter of the ball is equal to the inner diameter of the tube where D is given as 4 centimeters and the ball's mass is a small 24 gram pellet. Okay, And before firing the ball, it is positioned at a distance L equal to 150 centimeters from the right end of the tube. What is the speed of the ball directly before rupturing the membrane on the right? Air pressure atmospheric is equal to 10 power 5 pascals and do not account for any friction in this problem. Okay, so let's move ahead to try to see what's the actual concept behind this vacuum cannon where the bullet is being fired using just atmospheric pressure. Okay, so if you carefully observe at the bottom of the diagram, right, so a lot of things are on the screen, just follow my lead. I'll try to explain step by step. So just try to follow me. So if you see right top of your screen, there is a picture of this vacuum cannon where the ball starts. This is the initial position, let's say, and at any arbitrary instant, the ball actually has moved towards right. Why does the ball move? So when the ball is placed to this left end, you should understand that you can use a pump here at this place and drag out all the air out of this particular tube. So there is a vacuum existing in this particular uh, tube. So before rupturing the membrane on the left side, right, so you could see there is a left side end, there is a membrane which can be easily ruptured, right. So before rupturing on either side of this particular ball, the pressure on the left and right side would be equal to zero. But once the membrane is ruptured here, the air, which is atmospheric in nature, flows on this side. And whereas on the right side, there would be no pressure. Okay, So which means the push of this atmospheric pressure itself acts like a force which pushes the bullet towards right. Okay, so once the membrane is ruptured, as you could see on the left of your screen, P left is P atmosphere, P right is still zero. So this creates the delta P and a force which is independent of X, right? So even the uh, ball has moved or the bullet has moved here, this all entire of it is filled with atmospheric pressure of air and therefore the force is constant. Okay, so the value of that force is simply P atmosphere on this side multiplied by the projection area of this particular bullet. Okay, so projection area is pi r square r is d by 2 diameter by 2. So the value of that acceleration comes out to be equal to P atmosphere into this area divided by the mass m of the ball, right? So let's put out the mass m of the ball there, okay? So once the acceleration is known, for this particular value of that constant acceleration that you have calculated, you can use the kinematics equation of v square minus u square is equal to twice the acceleration into displacement. The entire displacement of this ball by the time it reaches to the right would be simply the value of length of the tube L. So by putting a long length, you can accelerate this ball for a greater period of time. That's why you see these kind of cannons which have a longer length are more powerful in nature. 
arrange here. Okay, right. So once you arrange the value of v comes out to be all of these parameters are given in the question in numericals. And if you substitute, you end up getting a very high and a decent value of 130 meter per second. Just understand that you're not using any ignition here. It's just a pure atmospheric push that ensures that the bullet travels with such high and deadly velocities. Okay, I hope you like the presentation of the problem and the language, especially of the author, whoever has constructed this particular problem. So you need to try to practice this kind of a language, which is essential for your and, and um, uh, acing through the en entire ent uh, Indian Olympiad examination or IOQ as it is called right now. Okay, so in case you have liked this video, uh, you can also check out the other playlist if you are a student of physics and appearing for JE Advance and Physics Olympiads. The entire playlists that are there in the link uh, description below cater to your needs. Also, I made out the topic-wise playlist. Also, let's suppose you had a uh, particular following for rotational mechanics there is a separate topic of rotational mechanics subtopics of it in which all the videos of this channel 120 or more have been divided into okay so please do play them in a loop and in case you are new to this channel please do sub subscribe to my channel after watching two or three videos i'm pretty sure contents quality would be of utmost satisfaction to you and in case you're already there in my channel right so please do like and share this particular video with your student community and teacher community so that it can help me grow my channel okay so liking the video is very important because youtube algorithm pushes more liked video to a wider viewer range and helps me uh, grow my channel okay so and please do comment what kind of topics you want me to take uh, in the coming upcoming videos either in the olympiad workout series or otherwise and i do read the comments and i do make sure that i end up taking up those videos uh, within one month time okay so thank you very much and stay safe and see you in the next video